The Feast of the Holy Innocents. It is a difficult and bitter one to celebrate. It is the cold-blooded murder of infants at the sake of sorry at the hand of King Herod. He wanted to search for Jesus, not to venerate and worship him as he said to the wise men, but rather to murder him and retain his power. The sorrow about the occasion is really brought home to us in the last few lines of the reading from Matthew's Gospel, where Matthew quotes the prophet Jeremiah about loud lamenting and weeping, about Rachel, who embodies all the women of Bethlehem and the district, saying they refuse to be comforted because their children are no more. The Holy Innocents, these male children, have been venerated by the Church as martyrs since very early times. They are reckoned, they are venerated as martyrs, not like Stephen, for example, the first proper martyr who preached the Gospel of Jesus Christ up until the moment of his death. So they are not martyr, martyrs in the sense that they preached or they confessed their faith. They are not martyrs in the sense that they willingly gave up their lives for the sake of the Lord. But they are martyrs in their deeds nonetheless. Now, at this time, as people read the story from the Gospel of Matthew, Somebody might say, oh, you see, these children were needlessly killed because of religion. I'm sure you have heard the argument religion is only a force for worse in the world. But if we truly believe this, I think we would be deceiving ourselves. A careful, a careful reading of Matthew's Gospel really shows us that the infants were not done away with because of religion. They were killed because of power. There is a parallel between Matthew's Gospel here and the story of Moses at the beginning of Exodus, when Pharaoh ordered for the first, for the male children of the Hebrews to be killed, not because of a different religion, simply in order to retain the power of the Egyptian regime. So we see that the holy innocents in this case are pawns in a power game of a puppet king who is afraid of losing his status to Christ. In the Holy Innocents we see the least of our society, all those who are without a voice of their own, without claims to life, and we see how society tramples over them. Our job as Christians, as those who venerate the Holy Innocents as martyrs of our Lord, our job is to work for a world and a society with, where every human life is valued and every human life is cherished. So that nothing like that, like the murder of the Holy Innocents, should happen ever again.